and uh, these are people that actually comment on like a lot of my videos. And it's the Mr. White Show. I know that sounds funny, but he's not white, so it's funny. I don't know if that's funny. Oh, and he's pretty cool. And then there's another girl in. What a strong word. Hate. Love. Those two are the most strongest words. Well, cut to. But, but love and hate. Very strong words. Very strong, emotional, heart filming words. And do you really mean what you say? When you tell somebody you love them? Or are you just saying it because it sounds cool? When you tell somebody that you hate them, do you really hate them? Do you really hate their guts? Do you really wish they would die? Or are you just saying it because it sounds cool? Hate and love. Good versus evil. Now, I've done shows like this. I mentioned, you know, the word love and the word hate and what it means and, you know. But deep down the side, do you really love another human being? Would you die for them? Do you stay up at night crying and your heart hurts because you really love that person? Like, you would do anything for that motherfucker. Do you really hate this motherfucker? Do you really hate this person, male or female? Do you, do you want them to disappear? Do you really say what you mean when you say you hate this person? Like, you say that because they hurt you. And out of a reaction, oh, I hate him. I hate this bitch. I hate this nigga. Uh, he cheated on me. Oh, he doesn't treat me right. Oh, oh. Love and hate. <sighs> the answer is yes. You can love somebody and you can hate somebody. Well, just because you love somebody in the beginning, you can, you can hate them because they've done some wrong to you. They cheated on you or they, they hurt you financially or whatever the case may be. But it's not right to love and hate. It's not even right to, to love because you could get your heart broken. Now, hate, I'm not standing here saying, you know, I can do, you know, uh, you know hate is better than love. I'm not saying all that. I'm just saying love and hate are strong words. So if you really love a person, love them. If you really hate a person, hate them. Give a hundred million percent. It's real. Nigga Rover. Oh no, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Love and hate. What the fuck was that saying? Oh, first down here. Alright. What was that saying? Love, hate, love, love. Okay, okay. Action. Okay. If you really love somebody, put your thousand percent, a million percent into that love and trust. But if you hate somebody, put your million and thousand percent trust in them too. The bottom line is, ladies and gentlemen, we're all not perfect. Hell no. We're human beings. That means we make mistakes. We live off of emotions. Sometimes. Other times, people think, and then they do. Some people just do. And just think later, like, oh, shit, I shouldn't have done that. Me. But I'm just saying. As a human being on this earth, in 2021, so on and so forth. <laughs> fuck that. Always keep your guards up. You know what? I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. I was holding. I was holding it. In. I was. I was thinking to myself, should I say it? Fuck it. Fuck offend people. Fuck it. Because you know it's real. You know in your heart that I'm speaking the truth. Loving people. It's not all good. Hating people is not all good. So you gotta do a little bit of both, love and hate. 
Because if you give your all to somebody and they keep disappointing you over and over and over again. I mean, fucked up. You feel you feel bad. You feel like they let you down. All the time, really? No strike three, three strikes? Nah, fuck all that. One strike you out. But if you hate somebody, you could love them. I mean, you, you don't have to hate them forever. Maybe you hate them for a day or two days or a year or two years. I don't know. But then you get back to the love. But all I'm saying is, do both. Love somebody and hate them. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Because if you love somebody, they can disappoint you and, and make you hate them. Just like that. Whatever the situation, I don't know. But, like I said, just keep your guards up. If I love you, I really do love you. But I hate you at the same time because all this love that I'm giving you, you can fuck me over. Down the line. Maybe you won't. That'd be what's up. If you love and hate me, hey. But make sure you make the right decision. You want to give your all to one person or to a group of people, your friends, your family. And you know deep down inside, everything's good for now. But then later on, they're going to fuck you over. Keep your guards up. You hate somebody, you know, a co-worker, or this bitch thinks she's all that. Oh, why this bitch get special privileges? Or oh, this bitch, fuck her. Why is she getting all these niggas? Uh, uh, why is she getting this money? Uh, why is she getting all these cars? You know how girls hate these yellow. You know that. Maybe down the line, you might love that chick. Like, hmm, maybe I was wrong about this bitch. Hmm, she's cool. I don't know. Love and hate. It's beautiful. It's a great mixture. Like black and white. Or black lives matter. But you know what I mean. Love and hate. Keep your guards up.